Oh, oh no! I didn't want this one. Uh, it is saying something yeah, like. That's trying, trying to outside for us. You mind that? I think we get forty two. These guys, look, these guys. Look at these guys. In the oh, that's my boy. My look at this. Look at that. 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 Yeah. Right. Actually, right. The problem is that I think we've got a very low. Um, the the, the, the Wi-Fi is low. Let me see something. Yeah. Round like that. Because you're round, man. That's you're my round. stomach, you know. You're my round, stomach's not like that. You're round, man. <laughs> you're round. You're see, round. You're like, round. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Okay. Looks like my that's, stomach's like that. That's that's you, man. That's you. That's you. Can you say how my stomach looks in that? It is you. It looks mad. It is you. No, it is you. Simpson. It is yeah, you. Yeah, oh, my days. <laughs> you're alive. You know that. Let it be alive. <laughs> um, guys, um, good evening. How are you? Um, okay let me know if you can hear me very clearly um first of all before i go over bianca shereen and uh it's called uh angles lol <laughs> he's heard you talking about your angles <laughs> Guys, let, let me know <laughs> they're laughing at you. <laughs> so, now nah, mom's pregnant. <laughs> um, listen, can you just let me know? Um, <laughs> they're laughing at you. <laughs> can you let me know if you can hear me very clearly? Yeah, guys, let me know if you can hear me very clearly. Um, can hear you loud and clear, boss. All right, there we are. Okay, guys, good evening, um, ladies and gentlemen. As I'm the late one, I'm somewhere in the UK, not in London. Don't say where we are. <laughs> 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 if you can guess where we are, then you get a prize, okay? Um, so if you can guess where we are, not in London, but if you can guess where we are, we get a prize. Now, as you know, I've been talking about this whole thing about um, empowering black men and uh, the, the whole aspect of how, after I mentioned about these 25 different organizations or so, I keep getting to hear more. Um, so as a result of that, I've met these gentlemen, which are called the Brotherhood. And I, I coined it more by saying the band of brothers who are empowering um, men. Use the word men. E, black, white, whatever, whatever, men, isn't it? Yes. Okay. But without further ado, I'm going to actually um, have a chat with Abba. No, Pastor Clement. You're going to tell us about um, Brotherhood. Brotherhood, yes. Um, Brotherhood 2356. No, 23, yeah. I suppose just find us on forward Instagram. And lean forward a bit and to the mic there, yeah. Yeah, Brotherhood is 2356 at um, Instagram. Journey of a Lifetime 13 in Instagram. You can find us on YouTube as well. Yeah. We have a YouTube channel and yeah. a TV show also that's going to yeah. be coming out soon on Sky. Um, basically, we are, as Brotherhood, we are men that are trying to raise boys to become godly men okay and we try and use the godly principles because we believe that it's the only way for man to sustain the the that high flight of mountain to be who they are mm. in christ mm. and you need god to be able to walk in this in this earth yeah especially now with all this gun crime and killing crime because lack of identity you don't know who you are yeah so a lot of people struggle with who they are where they're going and where they're coming from yeah and Brotherhood is it kind of highlights who you are because we use the Bible as a reflection to and identity to, to show who that who you are. Yeah, yeah. You know, in Christ and who you call that to be. So we work on that. So body principles. Right. So that's a generation we're trying to raise. So, 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 what, what was the um the vision that created brotherhood? And I'm gonna come to your your colleagues next. But what was the vision? What was the driving force? The vi the vision was myself and my wife. Um, yeah. We both come from a, um, a, ba a rough background. Yeah. You know, we grew up in a rough neighborhood, and I grew up in Africa, yeah. where in the midst of there was war there, and I had to leave Africa at a really young age, mm -hmm. and lived in uh, East London, where it was really rough. Yeah. So we've seen broken families, and we've seen um, a lot of people commit suicide because of lack of identity, knowing who they are. Yeah. We've seen, um, my wife is actually, uh, um, she was one, when I met her, she was a single mother. 
Yeah. So that's broken on itself. You know, realistic. I'm not saying all single mothers are broken, right. but what I mean broken is the man there was is, is, the man was not there yeah. to do his job right. He wasn't doing yeah. his job right. He wasn't cultivating her. Mm. And <coughs> we both spoke, we realised that we we're, yeah. we're called out to have a to raise generations to fear God and to follow what God called them to have, to be, to walk in their purpose as a yeah. generation. So we do men and women. Yeah. Um, we do teenagers as well. It's not just about married men, but it's about singles as well. Yeah. We teach how to be single, the truth about being single yes, yes. And from God's eyes, you know, what the Bible says about what he's supposed to be doing. Because if you realize Adam at the beginning, he was given a job, yes. he was given responsibility to cultivate, to look after the garden. Mm. So he knew the work effort he had to do. Yes. He knew the definition of what it means to be working. And he didn't complain, he had responsibility. But now, men don't want to accept responsibility. So that started off with men don't want to accept responsibility. That's why a lot of them run away from it. Yeah. And when run away from what? Run away from responsibility. Well, responsibility, yes. yes. So um, they think they're going to... By the time... So what we do, we raise the men to understand that there's responsibility before the wife comes. Yeah. And when the wife comes, you're slightly equipped to be able to adapt to the pressure, the change. Yes. You know, because you had a job before she came. Mm -hmm. And your job was what God gave you. And yeah. now God's giving you that because you've reached another level. As yes. a single man, you've reached another level. Yeah. And because you're now in a marriage, you've got those, you build your foundation on a rock solid which is the rock solid is, is the word of God himself. Yeah, yeah. You've got that relationship with him. You're able to appreciate your woman. You're able to look after her. Mm -hmm. You're able to not run away when there's, there's storms. Storms are when there's yeah. pressure. Yeah. You know, so that's what we came from, that side. And also um, just knowing that there's God, you have faith. Yes. And having faith is maturity in the spirit. Realm. So, so tell me now, um, as for Ahmed, yeah. so tell us about your um, your vision and all thing with uh, brotherhood. Um, so, basically, as Fennec kind of uh, highlighted, this is to raise boys into men. And um, the key thing that struck out to me is that... Um, guys... Um, I'm not sure if you can hear me. Yeah. Can you, can can you guys hear? Or if you want to just... Project I'll project a bit, yeah. a bit oh, yeah. louder. Yeah. Um, but the, the key thing that struck out to me is that in this society, in this day and age, there's a, a lack of identity, especially in men, and um, it comes from various reasons, you know, um, people coming up uh, from a background where they don't have fathers or they don't necessarily have a role model to show them how to be a man, mm -hmm. you know, or a godly man um, in that sense. And I think brotherhood has really helped me because coming from university, where you know I was part of like a fellowship, which was, which was very good, like you know serving, serving in your youth, you know it helps you, it equips you. Yeah. But then when you come out of that bubble, you know it's almost like you're thrown in the deep end. Yes. But brotherhood has provided that kind of mentorship because there's so many different types of people in there. There's people that are married. There's people that are single. In the in the organization. In the, in, in, in the organization. There's yeah. people that have been like have been married for like five years. Mm. There's people that are about to get married. You know, people in their 30s, people in their 20s, you know, mm. people that are homeowners, people that are trying to be homeowners, you know. So there's so many different aspects and dynamics to the group that it allows you to be free and learn from them. Mm. And they have so much to pour out. And that mentorship is key in terms of becoming a man because a lot of the time there's this um, ethos of you know, self-made in this kind of um, society at the moment mm. when really and truly there's no such thing as self-made everyone needs help everyone needs help everyone needs guidance and yes. brotherhood allows men to be open with each other yes. speaking about problems that we all struggle with as men you know um, but being open about and speaking practical solutions and that's one thing that I really thank Clement for since he's coming to my life you know he's helped to really you know, tackle practical issues. You know, sometimes with the church, as men as well, you know, we, we like log logical things, we like logical answers, we want to know how. And sometimes I think with the church, we don't necessarily get that as men. We yeah. don't necessarily get the answers to certain questions that men are looking for. So it's, it's easy for men to, to turn away from, from the gospel, from Christ, because they feel that their questions are not being catered for. But I think yeah. brotherhood tackles that head on. You know, some of yeah. the sessions that we talk about, one of our last sessions we've done, Lost and Pornography, you know, and that's a very sensitive and strong topic that some churches wouldn't really go into like that. It's quite, you know, a delicate topic. Oh, pornography, don't talk about that, you know. Yeah. But, um, you know, we hit it straight on. You know, the room was packed. We had, a, we had an awesome time. So, definitely, Brotherhood has been 
an amazing journey so far. So, so with brotherhood, is it catering only to Christian men or just from a Christian base? Um, Abba. Abba. Abba, yeah. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is, it, is it only catering to Christian men or is it from a Christian base? Um, well, the, the basis or the foundation of the organization is founded on a, on a Christian premise or Christian um, um, understanding. Yeah. So for you to be able to come on to Brotherhood, you have to understand first and foremost that for you to be able to be free or for you to be able to be established or understand what you need to go to in life, mm. you need to understand that Christ has to be at the foundation. Yeah. So we're welcome in mean, everyone. Yeah. Everyone is welcome from different backgrounds. It doesn't matter where you are, where you're coming from. Of course you're welcome, 100%. Yeah. But what we have to understand is that society has tried several different um, 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 moves and several yeah. different sorts of, 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 of ways to combat, you know, why men, why a lot of things are lacking, but it hasn't been, they haven't been successful. What mm. Brotherhood provides now is a sustainable source of, you know, of support, a sustainable source of direction mm. that only God can bring. Mm. And through Pastor Clement, um, who I thank God, you know, God is used tremendously. Mm. Um, we're able now to come and understand, like Hamid said, we cannot do anything on our own. Yeah. It's only through God. And it's only yeah. through the guidance that we receive through God that we can do things. Right, and so right. one of the things that we do, like like being understood, we don't just obviously come and you know gather around in a room. We also do stuff like we go, we play football, yeah. mm -hmm. we go gym, we do watch movies. There's you every, try, we you, do you everything try, else as well. You try to get people to join Chelsea. In fact. Yeah, well, yeah. These two are for deliverance. These two are Man United fans, so it's very hard. And <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is it, you're Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. That's what I say next to each other. You're the man. You know, I didn't even know that you're the man. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But so through Brotherhood, we're able to now get an understanding of people. Yeah. We don't just want to see them come into our session, but we want to know them as people. Mm. I want to understand why they're doing certain things or what, you know, from where they are, how can we make them from boys to men? And so, like, from the time I met Pastor Clement, there's a lot mm. of things, you know, that I was going through, a lot of practical things that, you know, and a lot of spiritual things as well, because we have to understand that there's a balance of both that's yeah. needed. So, the spiritual aspect as well, we deal with that, we tackle it through prayer, but also we have to understand practicality is key as well, because we need strategy to be able to understand or be able to implement these things that we speak mm. about. People don't want to see integrity these days. They don't want to see just people uh, um, um, saying things and not doing it at the same yeah. time, but we say it and then we want to back it up by doing it. One thing Pastor Clement is blessed in is being able to, you know, to, to catch up with you. When he says something, he's going to do it. He yeah. says, I'll call you, yeah. I'll, I'll call you. Yeah. You know what I mean? We were lacking these, these things in today's society. Yeah. Now, what you, I'm sure you know you're in the world that's of politics. Yeah. Politicians will promise a lot of things mm -hmm. and not follow through. They'll they follow won't through. do it. And well, that's why people lack faith and trust in them. But they but some follow through. 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 In view of the, as I said, the reason why I've started planning to do all of these different interviews with different organizations was recent because of the spate of knife crimes. Over 50 or so young people have been killed by knife uh, slash gun, but that is what is recorded. You know? What do you see, uh, Pastor Clem, as one of the solutions to deal with this um, epidemic, in a sense? I think, first of all, it's lack of identity mm. and lack of fathers. Sometimes the fathers don't know their own identity. Mm. Yeah. You know, uh, um, there's a video that we're going to be doing soon on YouTube, a woman's cry, hear a woman's cry. Yeah. Um, because I think it's time for men to actually hear the woman cry, not moan, but hear them cry. Yeah. Because a lot of time we turn our ears away from it, that they're crying, they're painful because of what we're, what we're doing. Yeah. They have to step into our shoes. A woman can't necessarily do everything that a man can do. Mm. Just like a man can't do everything what a woman can do. It's about playing your role. If we tackle the home and start doing yeah. some little parenting teaching, yes. how the parents need to really spend quality time knowing their kids. Yes. You know, knowing their kids. When you know your child, then you know what is good and you know what's bad of the yeah. child. Yeah. You know how to work with it. And then now we need to also set some boundaries. We need to learn to set the boundaries within the community. To, um, we need to be consistent with these boundaries. Mm. The governments need to put some boundaries aside as well. Mm. You know, they need to set um, like a, a proper healthy activity yeah. play for them, where there's also CC cameras in there. Not not CC cameras that partly works when it, in a certain part of yeah. the street. When people know that these CCTVs are working and there's patrol police actually working yeah. to also come and speak to these young people, um, be friendly with them. Mm. You know. Um, police are made to be protecting the the environment, not to be um, 
intimidating people because mm. when you try and intimidate someone they're going that you're going to reap what you sow so you don't believe in stop and search um just asking to, sorry to, 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 mm. sometimes sometimes because i've had an experiment with stop, stop and search where they've roughed me up when i had not i didn't even know all i said is the police asked me um i was 17 them times so that's a long mm. time ago um mm. Um, the police said to me, uh, where are you going? And I said to him, uh, I replied back to him, uh, I was like, why, why, what, what's your problem? You know, when you're 17, you're, you're mm, a bit, mm. you know, like, what's your problem? And he attacked me on the spot. Mm. You know, so I've had that side, but I've also had a side where I, he probably thought I had something, mm. you know, because of the area where I was living at that time also. Yeah. So it's, it's, he, he, he had to protect himself quickly, but sometimes they yeah. take it too personal. I think the whole point, when you're doing your job, yeah. you have the authority, Stop taking it too personal. Mm. You need to have people skills. You need to know that kind of people you're, you're going to. Yeah. Don't just go and search anybody because you're assuming that they're black. Yeah. And you're assuming that because they got a hoodie on. Because yeah. I can walk behind. So the, the label. stereotype and the labeling, stereotyping. And the profiling. That's where it's coming. And because because of that, also for us, for young men and black men, mm. we need to learn how to control ourselves. But that comes with identity. Because when you you would not see Prince William. Walking with any tracksuit bottom, mm. or walking out in the market anyhow and speaking mm. anyhow. Well, because you're in a tracksuit bottom. Come from. No, but it's, I'm comfortable who I am. <laughs> you know, I'm comfortable yeah. who I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm just giving that as a, an example. Yeah, of, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't get someone that's royal dressed anyhow, mm. uh, walking anyhow. Mm. You know, because they know who they are. You know, uh. they come from a royalty background. So what you're saying is then, um, ladies and gentlemen, the, the, it's an important that persons know who they are. You because need to, yes, and the, and their parents need to really that's why we, that's why is um when everything comes down to the bible if you think about it yes. when you know your identity in christ because christ encourages you to be loved mm. and he made you in his own image no one's going to make you in their own image if they don't mm. believe in the image mm. you know he believed in his image he knows his image and because of that you're able to appreciate others because yeah. how can you appreciate someone if you don't appreciate yourself yeah. can i just add please that? please yeah. um i think just going off of um you know knowing your identity i think what a lot of the youths need now is hope yeah because i feel that a lot of them are painted a certain you know reality that you know they should get certain qualifications and yeah. work and which is which is fantastic in my work mm. and stand and i've gone to uni i've done a masters and whatnot but what i don't think is given enough attention is the f is purpose mm. you know and and people's gifts and what's innate within them for them to mm. operate in that and you know to see what am i good at what do i have a passion for yeah and like where can i make an inf uh, 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 a difference and and be of influence because i think if that's if that's tackled a lot more than people do yeah. things from a, a point of passion but i think a lot of the people that are you know like they're on the road or they're involved in gangs they just see it as ah uh, the only thing I can do is work a nine to five. Yeah. It's hard for me, I'm black anyway. Yes. If I don't get certain grades and I, I can't really do it anyway. Mm. You know, it, cause the, the, the corporate world is very, it's very congested at the moment. Yeah. If you do go to uni or not, and you come out with a first or two one, it's, it's difficult anyway. Mm. So if you don't, then it's kind of like, oh, what else do I have? So mm. if, you, if you're from a certain background that doesn't necessarily facilitate that path, yes. then it's almost like what's left. And then you can just be with your friends and then you get caught up in the wrong things because your mindset is is can only see one thing. Mm. But if they're given hope to say, you know what, look, you can draw, you understand? Mm. Or you, you've got a very analytical mind, you can solve problems, or you know, you've got certain qualities in you that if someone is to show your purpose, yeah. can tell yeah. guide you in your purpose, then there's a different avenue for you that is bigger than what the picture is you're seeing right now. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's a key part of also what Pastor Clement is trying to mm. reinforce in yeah. young adults is the fact of know your purpose, mm. understand mm. the gift sets that you have and you've been given, mm. operate in them, and there is a way out. And that's the thing about brotherhood. That's why we play football, yeah. like we go bowling, you know, we've come to retreats like this to show people that yeah. we are normal. So, <laughs> yeah. so tell me, uh, Abba, Abba, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how do you then, when you're dealing with young men, um, bring out that creative or understand or know how to actually tap into that creative spirit in them to actually build that bit because sometimes they might not know they have it yeah and it's your job to bring it out yeah. what are ways that you guys can bring it out or see it what strategies you use yeah um something very key that um pastor clement 
mentioned earlier today, yeah. I think it was very important is, um, I think it's the time that we spent, um, I'm, and I'm very particular about, you know, time spent in the spiritual realm, time yeah. spent praying, yeah. time spent, you know, spending time with each other, you know, gathering to, uh, with each other. Because the word of God says, where two or three are gathered, God is there in their midst. Mm -hmm. And what God loves to do, he loves to reveal, you know, secrets to his people. Yeah. And so when those secrets are then revealed, in the time of prayer or in the time yeah. spent together, you know, by, you know, the gifts that God has put in you, mm. you're then able to speak into other people's lives. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to know you if I haven't built that relationship yeah. and then being able to then speak to you, be able to trust you because yeah. that relationship is then built. Yeah. So then when I then speak to you and then able to pull out those gifts from you, being mm. able to pull out those things I see in you, you then begin to believe it in yourself and yeah. you start to walk, yeah. work, work it out. Because then, because you know that you've seen the God in, for example, someone like Pastor Clement, yeah. because yeah. he's had that integrity mm. <laughs> and then you've seen him work out his gifts because you know that he really cares about you yes, yes. because what sometimes uh, the people have their own ag agendas in life you know what mm. i mean they come into the scene and they want to do their own thing and then they want to mm. use you as a way to get through to someone and, and then leave yeah that's not what it's about yeah. it's about coming and understanding that cool this is what we, we're here mm. we're here to do um, there are a lot of sacrifices pastor clement does you know mm books, rooms, on the, off his yeah. own, you know, money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He doesn't charge anyone for it, you know what I mean? His time, he's got a family mm -hmm. and kids. He can spend time with family and kids if he wants. Mm -hmm. But he comes out, steps out of his way to come and mm -hmm. establish such an organization that will touch your life. And when you see that, naturally mm -hmm. you're drawn to it. And mm -hmm. then when you see that, you know, okay, cool. He's got this gift for mm -hmm. himself. Hamid's got this gift and he's found it out through Pastor Clement. Mm -hmm. You then trust the whole the, process, of God, yeah, the yeah. process exactly yeah, yeah. you don't you don't then because you've seen it working other people yeah. you believe god is real, real. Wow. because you've seen it other people then you start to believe it for yourself yeah. because you say if these men are like me you've got okay mm. if they're black if, if they're black okay same same color yeah. if you like the same team the same mm. um, same team if you have things in common but you say okay these people are still godly it's something you can resonate with it's mm. something you can you can tie yourself into right. it and then you're able to say okay cool right I can bring up my gift too. Okay, well, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining. Um, Kadia Brooks, Patricia, Maxine, Abiola, PJ, Sam, um, Sanchia. Listen, I'm with some young men here from the Brotherhood, um, Abba, um, Ahmed, and Pastor Clement. They are part of this organization which seeks to empower um, young black men. If you take this time now and just share this video, press share and let your friends know. As I said, one of the things that I'm doing is actually using this opportunity during this period of time to actually highlight different organizations um, that are doing things to empower young men because at this time we need to empower young men. Now, mentorship. I want to talk about mentorship now. Um, Pastor Clem, how is mentorship can be a, a, a role, a tool dealing with the scourge of knife crime and the street because lots of young men go out there on the street, I understand, because they see some father figure. They see somebody is looking after them. May not be looking after them right, but yeah. somebody's looking after them. Yeah. How do we address that bit now? What role do you play? Um, me mentorship is is a is a, is very key. Every man and a woman needs a mentorship first mm -hmm. of all, because God's assigned people there to encourage you, to help you, to show you the direction, yeah. and He uses them. So, father figure first of all, like I said, is the main head. It starts with that. Now, if yeah. it's not father figure, they need another man, another male that's walked in the ex similar experience or that knows, aware of the experience of that thing because of life experience yeah. and also spiritual awareness, mm. discernment, knowing that how to guide you, mm. you know? Because when we have these men mentoring other young men to mm. become men, men, you're less bored, you're less envy mm. and Spirit of pride can't really go up as much because mm. you're submitting yourself to somebody else to follow them. Yeah. So you're trusting. It comes with trust. Yes. Because a lot of these young men are broken because of lack of trust because their fathers let them down. Mm. That's a fact. And they're watching their mother suffering. So they mm. think it makes sense for me to go out on the street to work. So they also to have do, this anger again. Yeah, have them. this anger. <clears throat> and they may not necessarily work where they're bringing back at home. Mm. But they are in the street, and for example, in the street, you're more respected and you feel like you're loved. Mm. Even though that's not really the real love, but yeah. you feel like that's some, some sort of form of love because mm. they show you respect, they're mm -hmm. there to defend you, yeah. they're willing to die out for you, yeah, yeah, and they're not willing to snitch on you as well mm. at times. No matter no, what, no matter what, they're not going to speak. That doesn't mean strength, 
mm. when you're not willing to speak out to do the you know even mm. to, to, to real strength is knowing to do the right thing mm. in the midst of everyone against you but yeah. you're sticking to do the right thing mm. that's real strength right but it takes another man to teach that man right so mentorship <coughs> is really really key we need a lot of these organization around us to mm. show so for example i'll give you an example um Abba, for example, is in, he, he's based in Coventry at the moment, mm -hmm. right? So I'm based in Essex. Yeah. Hamid's based in London, for example, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, there's people in, in London that need help. The part that he lives at, or they'll be able to communicate to him because yeah. we're placed, yeah. we're samples. We're supposed to be samples to whatever area we're in or work environment. Yes, we're supposed yes. to be role models. Yes. We're supposed to be sharing the light of, of, of God. Mm -hmm. The people are supposed to look at us and say, oh, I want to be like him. Yes. And then when they come to ask you, you need to also, you need to, anytime someone asks you, how did you do that? Yeah. That's your opportunity to show, to, 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 to um, introduce them to God, yeah. to put your point, fingers to God. It's yes. the time for you to, to almost promote God, yes. not promote yourself. Yes. It's time to put God's glory and say, oh, it's because of him. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of time we look for self, and self is where a lot of these young men are coming from. Because they see people out on the street about themselves a lot. Mm. What I mean about themselves a lot, selfs don't really encourage love. Yeah. Self is selfish. Mm. Self encourages you doing things that please it's just you. Yeah. But yeah. love encourages you to do things for everybody. Mm. And that's how, because you're expressing how you feel inside, outside. You know, mm. if you're expressing negative and you're expressing outside, that's self. If mm. you're expressing love from yourself to others, that's real love. Yeah, yeah. That's strength. That is kindness. Mentorship. You, they need to mirror you. They need to look at mm. that and say, oh, I like what mm. I see in him and I want to be like that. But, <clears throat> but so you can't mentor someone if you're not really there yourself. Right. You know? And if you're not even mentored yourself. If you're not being mentored yourself, because yeah. everybody wants to be a mentor. Everyone wants to be a mentor. Everyone wants to be a teacher. Everyone wants to be a preacher. Everybody wants to be a coach. Everyone wants to be a coach. Mm. Coach Carter. But you don't want to be coached. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. Hear that, ladies? People, everybody want to be a coach. Everybody want to be a, um, a what should I say, a teacher? But uh, people finding hard to be uh, mentored. Some people finding hard to be taught. Um, but yet at the same time, everybody want to be um, the top level. Yeah. Right. Now th this bit here, which we were talking about earlier, about is um, men, mm -hmm. men, <laughs> men standing in the gap. Um, there's a scripture that talks about um, a man or husband will be seated at the gates. You know, um, it's interesting speaking like this because as Christian brothers, you know, um, person might think, uh, well, this is not for me um, because he's only talking the religious jargons. Yeah. But the persons that you deal with, are they all of uh, the faith? Are they all of the faith? Of the faith. Yeah. No, mm. not everyone's in the faith that mm. I deal with. But you, the whole, see, one thing we try and practice here not practice, but one thing you have to realize, even the, where in the Bible says, Jesus never goes himself and promote himself. Yeah. I don't go there and say, I, I, you know, I'm Jesus and I'm promoted yeah. Jesus yeah. and I'm pointing fingers, I'm perfect. We don't do that. Yeah. They're supposed to see something in me that attracts them to yes. want to be where I am. Yes. And that's where I point to God. Mm. Now, it's, it's down to you to decide or not. Yeah. You got to remember this, yeah. My bishop always says it to me. Um, you, can, you, can, you can make... You can choose anything you want. Yeah. You can make it free to make a free choice, mm. but you can't pick the consequences of it. Mm. So mm. if 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 I'm telling you this is what I'm good at this because of yeah. Jesus Christ, yeah. and you don't want to follow him, that's up to you. Because yeah. we speak to Muslims as well. Mm. You know, we speak to Muslims as well. <coughs> so I'm not going to look in because you're Muslim. I don't want to speak yeah. to you. Yeah. That means I've put myself in a judgment position, and I'm judging him because yes. he's Muslim yes. or he's Buddhist. That, yes. That's not what it's about. Yeah. Men are men. Regardless, we have something in common with, that, at some stage yeah. with men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, common yeah, sense yeah. becomes common sense. Yeah. If I'm telling you, you got more than five girls yeah. and you're producing kids, and I'm telling you this is the this is the result of it, what you're doing. Mm. Wait, I didn't mean to mention God's name there. Yeah. That's common sense. It, it, it's interesting what you just said. Um, what he just said, ladies and gentlemen, is um, and Ahmed, um, Ahmed, yeah. Abigail, you said something about men is men. Yeah. That means to say, men is men, mean to say you don't have any distinction between race, creed, tongue, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Men is the overriding factor. Yeah. <coughs> how do you see then, as a man, how do you translate that message to men? We all got something in common. Yeah. 
Oh, I, I want you to keep talking to the people, yeah? yeah? Just keep talking while I get some water, yeah? <coughs> we, all, we all got something in common. Um, I don't know if you guys want to share, because I know I've been talking. But if you don't mind, I'll go ahead. <laughs> we all got something in common. Like, some men like, um, most men like sports. So, religion or faith, whatever you believe or practice, doesn't change it. So, I can relate to you on that side of that side of life to a practical life to relate to you that this is sports what type of sports you like or some men like music they're into music so it can be anything you know men are men there are things that men men challenges that they go through just like women there's the things that women go through that time of the month <laughs> that time of the month you're not always going to say because i'm a muslim or i don't go through it <laughs> don't, it don't make sense you're a woman yeah. you know if pain is pain you know if you've been dumped by your boyfriend or man you're going to go through pain and you're gonna be hurt because pain is pain. Yeah. There's some things that just that's the way it is. We need to stop trying to differentiate, make that like, you're this and I'm here. No, men are men. Too many Why labels, like, isn't it? Too much labels, you know, with too much labels that carries nothing. Yes. All it carries is pain and destruction and confusion. That's all it does. Wow, wow. That, that's powerful. It's a bit about labels, a bit about how people are actually um, separated, mm. divided yeah. by labels and perception. When really and truly, it all boils down into where they say, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Yeah. Do you know what? <coughs> we, we allow people to label us and we start to live like it. Yeah. Oh, he's a gangster. Yeah, I'm a gangster all sudden. Yeah. Oh, he can, sh he can stab people. You yes. look at him and they naturally think, I can stab, mm. stab someone. I've seen a young man. Mm stab someone as a joke yeah and then eventually become a natural killer mm. right and gone to prison for what because he needed to prove a point yeah, yeah i've seen one of my young men growing up said i'm gonna go and rob this person as a joke rob the lady yeah mm. and by the time he returned back to come and give the bag back to make as a joke the police turn up he got put down Too for late. 18 months <coughs> from 18 months he got into a fight he stayed there for three years. Mm. For three years, he stayed there too. So this is the age of 17. Yeah. And now he's about 35 years old, still in prison. Wow, from that time. Psycho, from, from just psycho. that joke. Yes. So what stops me from saying to you, this is nothing but to do Christian or not Christian. What stops yes. me just saying to you, bro, what you're doing is stupid. Mm, mm, mm. You know? What, what are some of the um, practical programs that you have? I mean, you've got... Uh, different events, if anything. Mm. But what are some of the, uh, with the events, or what we can say with that, what are some of the practical programs that you guys do? We, we try, okay, we try and encourage men to like, work. Because, go to because, work. Go to work. <laughs> because Adam was working. No, guy, yeah. no girls want a broke man. No well, girls. well, the Bible talks about if a man yeah. don't eat him. Yeah, but before you even, I'm not, if they don't want me to, I'm not going to mention the Bible at the moment. Yeah, I'm just yeah, saying, yeah. no girls in general wants a broke man. Yeah. You don't want a man where you're going out, they, you, you got to pay for their dinner. You got to yeah. pay for their lunch. Yeah. Every day, you got to pay for their clothes. You got to pay for the, you're basically becoming their job secrecy allowance. No woman wants that. I guarantee you that. There's no woman right now. Yeah, if you want that, put your thumbs up. Yeah. If you really want that, I can go in my hood where I grew up and I'll send them to you. But no woman wants that. A woman wants a man that works hard. But in overall, they want that man, regardless, to always appreciate them at mm. all time. Yes. At all time. They will need to know they're your number one priority. Yes. After God. They need to know your number one priority. Yes, yes. They need to know that you love them. That you're willing to drop anything for them. Yes. Because the Bible says that it says, <coughs> love, husband, love your wife, like mm. Christ loved the church. church. Mm. Do you know that in church there's a lot of characters that are just, you don't want to talk to, mm. you don't want to work with them, mm. yeah? And in a woman, yeah, because she's a person, there's going to be characters of her that you're not going to like. Yeah. But do you know why a lot of men run away from that responsibility? Mm. Because they're not willing to kill themselves. Mm. They're not willing to let God take over. That's why. Mm. So that's why marriage only sustain a lot of the times when there's God in it, because mm. he's the one that gives you the grace yeah. and the strength mm. to yeah. stay in it. He gives you the wisdom and the understanding yeah. towards your, your yeah. spouse. Yeah. He gives you wisdom to know how to talk to your spouse. He gives you the understanding to know who you're, how to work with your spouse. It's like a husband is like a builder, comes mm. in, when he goes to the altar, you like, you got two stools, you got two um, tools, you got, you got a spanner and a screwdriver, yeah. and you're almost going to like put your wife into bits. You know, from a princess yeah. to a queen. <clears throat> yeah. And the same for your woman. Your woman also has equipment. You, as much as we don't like to admit, mm. they also got equipment mm. that's going to come and fit into your to your parts. Like, remember, it's your ribbon. Yeah. It fits into your parts. That makes you 
a good a, king. A good king. Yeah. You know, so we need to understand there's positions. No one's better than no one. Yeah. A husband and a wife is like a TA and a teacher. The teacher's in charge of the classroom. Mm. Yes, but they always have to acknowledge that what the TA sees, what the teaching assistant sees, the eye that they have. Mm. A husband, uh, what's a teacher don't have it. Yes, yes. The yes. teacher don't have it. Because you know what? The TA has a relationship with the children. Mm. More. More. Yeah. And because the teacher is so busy running 30, 30 students, mm. you're not going to have time to teach every, to know every single one of them. Yeah. So you have to acknowledge and appreciate your, te your teacher's assistant. Mm. So that's how it is with a husband and wife. Yeah. The husband, you might go and work, 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 because he says outside, work, work, work. I sound like Rihanna at the end. Mm. I should be my own single. <laughs> you know? But like, you, work, work, work. You know? Because you're so busy. You're so busy working at times, yeah? Mm. You forget who the children are. Yeah. You have to acknowledge that at that time of your life when you're busy like that, mm. you have to acknowledge what your woman is doing. How? Mm. When you come back or when she comes back from work, mm. sat her down. When was the last time your children saw you putting um, something on the floor there, giving your woman a massage, mm. a feet massage, mm. you know? Like rubbing her back, you know, without trying to aim to have sex. Yeah. Just rubbing her back, just mm. giving her feet massage, mm. you know, because she's worth it because you know that she's deserve it because you love her because you wanna it's almost like you're repairing her by giving her massage yeah, yeah. you know you're giving her the strength again those are physical things those are basic things mm. so we teach practical skills how to yeah. communicate to our, the position sex mm. we give practical skills on on how to do your cvs we got guys here that can type forever that yeah. can that can show you how to talk to um people when you go and work out there we, we give you job interview skills so these we are all, stuff men. Like these that. all yeah. men these all are men. men these are men but obviously my wife we do join it's yeah. journey of a lifetime 13. if you mm. go on our, on our youtube journey of a lifetime 13. yeah we'll put in we'll put in but these links my later, wife yeah. my wife does the warrior wives where there's a there's a lot of wives she's got about 30 wives in that group mm. chat where they do they do activities about how to be a wife mm. how to be a woman mm. you know how to also kill the pride for men, we do that. Mm. How to kill the pride for a woman? Because what happens is, you think that you're better than your spouse mm. because you're the man. Mm. You know, you're not better. No one's better. You're fifty-fifty. <coughs> yeah. But there's a role, there's a position. Mm. Respect the role, the position. Let's let's deal with a bit about positioning because it seems like um, your function is not. You're actually dealing with a life. You well, know, life. It's a, it's a life. Basic life. You're, you're social doing, skills. Yeah, but social skills. But deal with a bit about men and their position in the house, in the society, in um, their spheres of interest. Mm. The man, the positioning. Your position as a man is to guide your house. Mm. And what are you doing in that case? If you're not in the house, how are you guiding? Because mm. some men get caught by working, they think they're guiding. I'm doing everything. I'm, I'm working hard. And what are you doing? They talk down to their woman. Mm. So why do you need her? Then? You might as well live on your own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, don't just use her when it's time yeah, for you to yeah, like, get yeah. your business. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. need to appreciate. You know, mm. a woman appreciate you more when you speak kind words than you just go and just buy her stuff. Mm. They, she prefer you to reminding her how beautiful she is, how mm. grateful you are to have mm. her, how how blessed and lucky you are to yeah. be with her. Yeah. I am lucky that I have you. Yes. They want to hear that. They want to know that. Mm. And men need to understand <laughs> that. And men yeah. need to understand yeah. that. Because a lot of men are selfish in that way at times because it's the ego. Mm. Because we want to be pumped. We want to be Superman too all the time. Mm. But you need Lewis Lane. Mm. Right. <coughs> yeah. Are you the Lewis Lane, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Lewis Lane but yeah. remember, Clark can also exist. Mm. So you can't just be one. Yes. Clark Kent, there's time to be Superman. There's time, time to be Clark Kent. That's powerful. Time to be Superman, time to be Clark Kent, time Balance. to be Spider Man, and time to be Peter Parker. But, <laughs> yeah. but we don't want Peter Pan. Though. We don't want Peter Pan. No, Peter Parker. Peter yeah, Parker. I know, but I'm saying we don't want Peter Pan. Oh, you don't want a Peter because Pan. Because you know? we, we teach against that. We teach against Peter Pan. You know, those men are mummy's boy, and those men that are, don't know how to grow up, those men that. To just, just it's all about them. Those men that like to play their toys, they find their heart. We teach men about that. Yeah. You know, we do a session on that, on that. How to drop your toys. How to drop your toys. How to drop your toys. Wow. These are things that are coming on YouTube, though. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> how to drop your toys. <coughs> how because how are you going to be with a woman and you're there playing PlayStation? What's right. wrong with you? <laughs> we got some you got a beautiful girl right there, but you yeah. want to go and play PlayStation. We got big or men you want to be on your phone and WhatsApping all the time. You got big men these days who buy PlayStation wow. yeah. for their kids. They've all these gadgets. It's for themselves. It's for themselves. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> a, you know what? The kids. <laughs> there's a time for everything. There's a, ti there's a time for everything. Yeah. If you hate these men, yeah. What they go through and where they're working at, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. And that's because they're willing to work. 
they're willing to work. They, they grew up in an area where it is rough, but they, they chose to go and work. Yeah. That like, lives in Coventry. You know, he left his family to go all the way to Coventry to work. He's yeah. a young man. He's only yeah. 22. Right now, so you're 22. It's only 22. Look you how are young he is and mature. Well. You're 22. They just graduated. You're I'm 19. Okay, I'm uh, 19. Yeah, I'm 19. <laughs> I'm 19. I'm 19. You know? 19. But look at the comfort zone. They, took, yeah. they, they left their home yes. to go and work out there. That's leaving comfort zone. Mm. A lot of men don't want to leave their comfort zone. They want to mm. stay there, be a Peter Pan. Do you think a woman wants a Peter Pan? She no. don't want. She don't want to be your mother. Do you want a Peter Pan or you want a Superman slash Clark Kent? Exactly. Or oh, Batman slash Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Batman slash Bruce Wayne. And he's got a mansion. <laughs> <laughs> or, you missed, the, you missed the big one, Wakanda. Wakanda. <laughs> yeah, What's Wakanda. I forgot. Black Panther. Black Panther. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. T'Challa. 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 Yeah. You know? Yeah, but it's, 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 it's you know, it's, it, a lot of it to do with your, mm. it's your choice. Yes. No matter where you come from, yeah, mm. don't make an excuse. Like what yes. Pastor said, don't make an excuse. Mm. I couldn't make it because my mum done this. Oh, my days, I feel like I'm releasing what I released right. out of it. <laughs> right, right, right. Don't make an excuse. Don't make an excuse where you come from to stop you to where you're going. Right. Sometimes that's a stronghold. Mm. Yeah. What I mean by stronghold, stronghold is something that's invisible. You can't see it. Mm. It holds you back from progressing and getting, yeah. um, step into another level, yeah. you know, mm. you have to learn how to go beyond yeah. mm. your mm. normal, and that's where you need God. And do you think, um, and, and in wrapping up, what are some of the key, uh, okay, you've got the long term, you've got the immediate as well, um, in the, uh, of course, the, the government recently has put out a lot of police out there, whereby somewhat, you're not hearing any yeah. more stabbing or a mm. gun, but really and truly, it is there. What are some of the immediate practical things that you believe the government should need to do? And what are also some of the things that you believe we should be saying to some of the young men who are killers or perpetrators? What are some of the words? Do you say words to them like, you're a killer, you're a blah, blah, blah? Never. What, what, what do you say to them? Because you're speaking them? unto them. Right. But I'll let others speak about the words. Yeah. The power of the tongue. Of yeah. The tongue. yeah. Pouring goodness into them. Continuously. Power of the tongue, yeah? yeah. I'll let others speak to yeah. them. Do you want yeah. to say? Um, yeah, no, just... As you all were saying, that it's very important to reaffirm and to speak words that will build them up, and not mm. to, you know, just not to remind them of their past or remind or try to, you know, speak words into them that will cause them to do the same thing again. Yeah. Because the thing is, there's power in the tongue. There's power mm. in what you say to them. Everything that you say into someone's life will manifest or will come into fruition at yes. one point in time. Nothing ever goes missing. Nothing ever goes into thin air. When you're saying something to someone, mm. someone's taking it, but they might take yeah. it in consciously or subconsciously. Yes. So yes. I think it's very important that we all, as a community, we yeah. all as a nation, as a people, when we see these things happen, because <coughs> speaking negative into them is not going to change anything. Yeah. You're better off, or we're better off speaking positive into them to make sure, A, they don't re-offend, re mm -hmm. and B, they come out as better people as well. So they're able yeah. to empower yeah. and build up that same place mm -hmm. that they caused, um, uh, you know, the, uh, Oh, what am I looking for? They cause an issue or problem to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, I want to stop you right there because this guy just recently stabbed some people wow. and um, he's there with his gun on television, Channel 5, saying, I'm the Mac or whatever like that. I'll do this and do that. He's a gunman. Mm -hmm. He just stabbed some people. He's actually training some guys to go out there with drugs. What word of affirmation do you say to him? You need to pray for him. You know, mm. it gets, that's where it gets to a part where, yeah. when, as mankind, yeah, that's why we're trying to take God out. Mm. Because that's what we're struggling. Mm. Yeah. Because all we're doing, we're trying to fix it ourselves. Yeah. So yeah. what's the point of fixing something? What's the point? Why do you need God then? Mm. That's mm. where God is. You see what you just asked me? Yeah. As, yeah. A, as a man that works in the politics, what you need is where you intercede, you pray for them. Mm. Because the power of prayer, there's no distance in it. That's mm. one. Secondly, you got to remember, God does the impossible. Mm. That's the impossible mission for a man to change someone like that. Mm. It's an impossible situation. Where I come from, if you know my background, mm. it don't, it didn't take a man to change it. Mm. It didn't take a man to change mm. it. It took God. So, it do, so do we think then that, um, in a way, people are trying to fix um, something fix. of a spiritual nature yes. at the same time yes. with um, throwing money at it? Yes. Just money can't programs. buy you happiness. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Money can't buy you happiness. Yeah. There needs to be a balance. There's a balance. There needs to be a balance. So it's, not, it's not a sense of don't pump money into social enterprises and these programs because yeah. these programs are very helpful mm -hmm. yes. and they do reap good fruits. But it's a sense of there's a 
physical aspect and there is a spiritual aspect to these things and you can't deny or take away from that mm -hmm. so it's about having a balance of attacking it from both fronts mm -hmm. so this is not an issue that's just come out of the blue and you know there's an increase in stabbings or whatever this is actually a spiritual thing that's happening so mm -hmm. the church or people of faith need to tackle it from that angle also as well as mm -hmm. these social elements and making sure that there's more um, opportunities available mm -hmm. for for young men to to build their skills mm -hmm. to to go into places i'm not talking like youth clubs because that's that's kind of played out but i'm talking about places where they can learn about themselves mm -hmm. places where mm -hmm. their mind is actually transformed yes. yes where their way of thinking is actually transformed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that they 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 you know they see life from a different perspective mm. it's not about putting them in a room with a playstation and an xbox yeah. and mm. pool tables yeah. Yeah. because all that does is it, 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 it just wastes their time yeah. because they're there they're playing games but it's like okay i don't want to play mm. games mm. what's that actually doing it doesn't actually change my circumstance <laughs> yeah. or my situation yeah. it might keep me busy for two or three hours but i still i still think mm. the same way mm -hmm. if i walk past another black man i'm still gonna it's still okay. gonna be that tension yeah. Mm. Yeah. but yeah. what needs to happen is that like um, pastor clement said there needs to be that that, that spiritual element of prayer mm. that changes their hearts as well as creating that foundation mm. yeah. for there to be that engagement yeah. for them yeah. to have that renewal of the mind. Yeah. Yeah. So, so ladies and gentlemen, what you're seeing here is um, changing the narrative, changing the status quo, changing the media frame, whereby normally it is seen as if um, young men, okay, black men, are normally um, bad persons, <laughs> anything like that. Mm -hmm. That's the sort of narrative. So what I'm actually trying to do now, what, I'm, what is actually being said here, mm -hmm. is that these are young Christian men mm -hmm. who are actually doing a work out there. Mm -hmm. And so funny, this is what is very interesting, mm -hmm. whereby people say, what is the church doing? Mm -hmm. But actually, the church is not a building. We got outreach. Yeah, exactly. We got outreach. Please, we're going, yeah. Okay, we're going, we're going on a retreat, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got some young we're on retreat right now, you yeah. know. We can't tell you the location. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But if you prayed, God will release it. Um, secret. secret. It's a mystery. Secret, so it's a mystery. <laughs> Look out for the book, A Mystery of Love. <laughs> yeah. Um but um it's it's what was I saying? I've lost my thought now. Um I yeah, said we're going on a retreat. Yeah. We're doing, we're going on a yeah. retreat. And the retreat is we're gonna be doing different activities. We're gonna be playing football, we're gonna play mm. tennis, we're gonna be going um out to eat. We're gonna um, fellowship. We're gonna discuss the the title is why why do all men need well, no every man needs help. Mm. Yes, you know, and we're gonna we're gonna discuss why every man needs help. Mm. We're gonna talk about we're gonna have people that are in career mm. that's gonna talk about career and men like business. Mm. You know, almost every man would like to have their own business. Mm. Yeah. So we will talk about business, encourage them to do their own business. You know, if you're good at drawing, we'll give you we'll give you tactics. Mm. We'll give you taxes. I'm not saying we know everything, but we, yes. because we got because we got Christ, we believe so strongly that He will give us something about you. Yes. As long as you're willing to come. Mm. Yes. You know, we're doing trips soon in in about two months' time, two three months' time. Mm. We're going to be going to retreat. So these are the things we're going to be pulling across. Two days. Imagine spending two days with a, with with people that are a group, bunch of work, yes. a bunch of guys that are praying. Yes. You know, worshiping. Yes. It's going to do something to you. Yes. yes. It's going to do yes. something to you yes. because whoever you're with. You show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Mm. Mm. So if you're going to spend two days with us, what do you think is going to happen to you? Mm. You're overwhelmed with too much light. The future, <laughs> the future, the, the future is bright. The future is bright. Yeah. Are their, are their presence as, their present as being arrested? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because he lives in commentary for, I keep saying that for yeah. a reason, I keep saying that for a reason because a lot of black men, yeah, don't, don't like coming out their comfort zone. I'll tell you why I mean by mm. that. If you check South London, if you check East London, like Hackney, Stratford, Canyon Town, all them places there. If you check Lambeth North, um, all them other side where there's a lot of urban guys here, yeah, they hardly go on holiday. Mm. You take them out places like, I took one of my young, young students from Queen, Queen's, um, Queen's, Queen, no, 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 Stonebridge. Stonebridge He's from yeah. Stonebridge. Mm. I took him out, I took him to um, Camden Market. Mm. He was blown away. He's never been there. <laughs> I said, it's only down the road to you. One train. <laughs> you know? Because yeah. we're stuck in that mm. mindset, in yes. a box. Yes. And people that succeed in life is people that look beyond. beyond. Yes. If you look at the Bible, Jesus went beyond. He prayed. Mm. He prayed beyond. He left it. He left 
people behind him, mm. but he took three with him. Mm. Yes. Even the three couldn't keep up with him because mm. that showed there's a difference. Mm. There's levels, mm. you know. Even in football, it's practical. You see it the way Cristiano Ronaldo works. Mm. He said, "I'm going to be the best player in the world." Mm. Mm. I never liked him, but I had to respect him yes. because he yes. became five, five times. He's not by accident. Yeah. Yeah. Five times, not by accident. Yeah. To the point where I'm, when he does it, it's so normal for me to accept that. He, yeah. yeah, he's gonna score. Yeah, because he pushed himself. Mm. Yeah, mm. I'm not. He pushed himself, and he believed that I can do it. You can do mm. anything if you believe in it. Yes, yes, you know. Yes. But then when you have Jesus, that's where the supernatural comes. From. Yes, you can fly. Yeah. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, with Jesus, you can fly. You know. Now, in in um, in wrapping up now, um, and and of course, we're going to post um, the different links for the brotherhood. The, the, the brotherhood now is um, I call it uh, the band of brothers, and the band of brothers is one that look up to each other. So, yeah. therefore, you're your brother's keeper. Yeah. And uh, sometimes in society now, people are so selfish. In a way whereby they don't take care of themselves. Mm. You said something earlier one time that uh, even men can be Jezebel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> men can be Jezebel. <laughs> and why I'm, why I'm bringing, <clears throat> why I said this is because these are some key little principles, um, spiritual principles, but they are practical pr principles as well. Yeah. Elaborate briefly on the bit about men can be Jezebel. <laughs> yeah. In a nutshell. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah. When I was younger, mm. I'm still young. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say about you. When I was younger, when I was younger, when I was younger, I had yeah. more than one female mm. at a time. Mm. It was normal. You get credit for that. You get looked up to like, oh my days, you've done something well. Because that's the society, and that's the surroundings, that's the background where I come from. It was normal. Mm. And when you did it, when you, when you actually. Was a stage where you can say, I got five girlfriends, I got six girlfriends, I got this, this, and that, yeah, different areas. Mm. You were promoted, you looked good, you know, and on top of it, when you can carry a weapon, you looked even better. Yes. You got prison, oh, you can go and make an album be like 50 Cent. Yes, yes. That's what we encouraged, our, that's what our community is encouraging, yes. that sort of behavior. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you when I said about a man being a Jezebel, because mm. one, that's when I was young. And the Bible, our slogan, our actual slogan is called, is when I was a child, I fought like a child mm. and I acted like a child. Mm. But when I became a man, put away I, put away, I put, ahead, I put, put, away. put, put away childish kind of things. things behind me. Yes. So what do you mean by putting away behind you? To be an adult, you got to drop some stuff. Mm -hmm. To go up, you got to drop. To stand up, you got to stand up. You, got, mm. you can't sit all your life. You've got to mm. stand up to move, to go somewhere. Mm. And a lot of people don't want to stand up to go somewhere. Jezebel spirits are those men that, that, because people think it's just a woman. You better watch out for that girl. Mm. She's wearing short skirts. You better watch out. But men also are Jezebel spirit. Mm. It's a spirit. There's not gender in the spirit. Yeah. There's not mm. age in the spirit. Yeah. Do you think yeah. the angel of death has got age and time? <laughs> the angel of death comes to, anyone. to anybody. Mm. Wherever the door is open, it comes. Yeah. Yeah. That's why the Bible says, mark your door with the blood. Of, with the blood. Mm. Yes, yes, and that's yes. why now... <coughs> We mark ourselves with the blood of Jesus by faith. Yes. Because the angel of death is anywhere. Yeah. We'll go past over. You can go past over. Mm. It will go past you because you're covered. Mm. And we need to really, really tune into that. That these men, ladies, this I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna actually gonna look at this, the camera and say it mm. very serious. Anytime a man approaches you and says to you, I've seen I must say hello to you, a lot of the time it's not the first time he's seen you. Mm. Am I not? Am I right or not? I know I'm beating up. I'm, I'm not beating up all the guys now. Am I right or not? Because because he's been observing you. He's been observing you, calculating, yeah, calculating. Look at the, the way he's plotting himself, calculating. I'm not saying every man that calculates is coming from the devil. No, that's not what I'm saying. But a lot of them are, because when it's God, he will make it happen in a certain way where you will know that. It's not calculation. Mm. But because it's calculation, they're manip manipulating you, and then later on, you, you fall in love with them, mm. or you think you're in love with them. Mm. And what happens is you find that they've got, diff they've got baby mothers, or they've got, they've got a wife, or they're married, they've got like all these different problems going around, or they don't answer their phone all of a sudden, because he was constant calling you at the beginning, and he just stopped, switches his phone off. That there is a Jezebel spirit. Mm. Mm. Because he's manipulating you, mm to get you in the bondage mm. to a certain situation mm. where you're subdued to him. Mm. 
So and he, then when he gets where he wants, he's gone. He's gone. So he, and he, he comes again. So he got a foothold till he got a stronghold. Yeah, right? like yeah. okay. You see, my wife loved this. My wife loved this. Um, this 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 example. You know, like the Baileys. I watch on TV. Yeah. They always say when they open the door, when you, when they knock, don't open the door. Don't open the door. If when, you put, if they, if you open the door, all they, they get do a foot is like, in. oh excuse me, ma'am, they put one foot in. Yeah. So right, they already got the right to come in. Mm. You know, and by the time they say, to you, "Oh, your baby's crying," they will know that you're gonna walk off. And when you walk, they're already inside the, cl- the house mm. and say, "Yeah, they'll carry on talking normal to you because they're polite." What mm. they're doing, yeah, they they slowly bring you in, slowly mm. getting you in, and then by take, yeah. taking you, by the time you notice, they're already inside your house. Yes. And now we're saying, "Okay, we can take your TV, we can take this," because you've given them the access. Mm. Don't give the enemy a lift because you know, mm. you, you take over the driving seat. Oh. Mm. So, ladies, He's no friend, yeah. So, 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 ladies and gentlemen, as you heard right there now, there's so much information to go. Now, how can people get hold of you guys? They can, they can go on our, they can email us as well, because yeah. we're building up a website. I'm mm. not going to say his name, but it's taking too long. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's too long. Um, um, we're building up a website um, soon. It should be coming in about a couple, couple weeks. We're building up yeah. the website. So it's brotherhood2356 mm. at gmail.com. That's the email address? Yeah, brotherhood. <laughs> so that's brotherhood, yep. At gmail.com. No, 2356. Oh, 2356. Any significance for 56? No, 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 that was just what came up. Yeah. <laughs> that's what was available. Yeah, that's what was available. <laughs> There's no mystery codes. Uh, Instagram, brother, uh, brotherhood 2356. And that's people message me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and also um, yeah. the Instagram. That's what people... Instagram, yeah. Instagram. So it's yep. Brotherhood, the same thing. Brotherhood. Oh, same thing, same yeah, thing. Brotherhood. Sorry. Same thing. Six. At and for couples, um, Brotherhood. Uh, two fifty six. Two three. Twenty three. Twenty three. Six and yeah. and you can put end next to it. Space and. Yeah. Just realize it there. Okay. Yep. Got that there. Yep. Yeah, and, and next of a lifetime. You have to make sure you get that's the main page. That's what the the, the website is going to be under that. Oh, so and then Brotherhood's like the umbrella. It's Journey of a Lifetime presents Brotherhood because we're going to be doing theatre as well. Like we're going to be writing some script plays and stuff like that, mm-hmm. writing books. You know, we got a lot of um people behind here like, like, that want to write. Yeah. You know, um. Motivated speaker, we go around speaking the word of God, trying to encourage people. Journey of a lifetime. Journey yeah. of a lifetime, thirteen. I mean, journey of a lifetime, thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, yeah, no, no, I got, I got it, I got it. <laughs> My fingers move too fast. Journey of a life time, thirteen. Thirteen, yeah. One three. One three. three. Good. So we're doing clothing, clothing as well. Okay, okay. We're going to be doing clothing. Okay, okay. By next, by next Brotherhood. Year. Brotherhood clothing. Okay, okay. Um, it's going to call um, BH2356. BH okay. Because we couldn't do the Brotherhood. Um, register for the Brotherhood because there's already someone yeah. using that as a clothing, but as a ministry, no one's using it. Right, right, right. Um, we got that coming up, and we're going to do, like I said, um, play for the theatre. We're trying to aim to get into the theatre. Yes. To yes. do some play yes. on um, men, um, writing books. So okay. there's things that we're doing. That's so lots up. of practical things, yeah. lots of lots of business yeah. and motivation. And we'll be going on radio stations soon as well. Mm-hmm. A couple of radio stations. We'll be invited to one, right. Premier, Premier Radio Station. That's in London there. That's in London. Christian That's radio the Christian station. Radio Station. Yeah, yeah. But we wouldn't just go to, we'll go to, we'll go to almost any radio station because yeah. radio station is radio station. Yes, yes, you know? yes. And of course you've been on Silburn TV on the late one. Yeah, you know. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, some mo- yeah, yeah. See, some moment there. And, and, I mean, what's the last word, Abba? Our last, last word is thank you guys for watching. Ah. Thank you for tuning in. Mm. And just remember, you know, um, yeah, organization like Brotherhood is uh, here. Um, Christian organizations that, you know, really want to see mm. people make a change and people, you know, mm. following God and understanding that that is the only way yes. to salvation. That's the only way where they can discover the purpose. That's the only way how they can, you know, know what they need to do in life. Mm-hmm. And that's the only way that we can find a solution to whatever is happening in today's society. Mm-hmm. Because there's a lot that's been done, mm-hmm. tried and tr- tested, and it's not worked at all. Mm-hmm. And we're now in the last stages of life. We're now in the last days. So we need to really keep that focus. 
because mm. it is our utmost desire mm. that everyone comes into an understanding of who mm. they are so that they yeah. really, 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 really live the way God wants them to live. Do you believe we're on the final furlong then? I do believe so. Well, like in horse in give... Abdul, we said, well, this is the final stretch. Yeah, I think it's the final stretch, bro. <laughs> uh, how <laughs> how long it will take? How yeah. long it will take? Obviously, we don't know mm. when the end comes. God yeah. says, the Bible says, yes. you know, the, the, the last day or the, the final day will come like a thief in the night. You know, I was, I was reading the, the other day, we were having a discussion, and they said, um, in the last days, really, of wars and, and rumors of wars. Uh, you'll hear of wars and rumors of wars. And I said to a person, chill, relax. You know what it says? You'll hear. <laughs> of wars and rumors of wars. wars he yeah. didn't say they you're gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, what's the last one? Yeah, you? pretty much everything's been said. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. This has been the the night one. The late one. The late one. The late one. The late one. <laughs> um, yeah, check out our really content. Late. You know, yeah. please really support. Check out our Instagram. You know, like our page, and hopefully we'll be back here soon. And thank you for having us so on. Just my young guy, yeah. And the main man, <laughs> Big Daddy. Um, Kane. Nah, no. Kane. <laughs> <laughs> so Kane. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like your camera makes me look like I'm pregnant. The cameraman's the angle man. I don't like why, it. Why do you see I'm <laughs> going like this as well? I'm even, I'm even covering my. <laughs> <laughs> No, but um, we like to have fun, you know. Yeah. We like to have fun. Really, um, we have so much ladies. It's, it's strange. We have so much ladies mm. inboxing us yeah. to speak to either their husband mm. or their brothers, yeah. you know, um, or their nephews, mm. you know, or their sons. We've got so much of that. Mm. And it's a shame that men don't want to reach out mm. yeah. because men think a lot of the times they know it all. It's not, yeah. it's, nothing's wrong with seeking out for help. Yes. It yeah. actually shows humbleness. It shows strength when you seek out for help. That, that, that's very powerful. And the, 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 the one thing I'd want to say, something which has been on my heart recently, is um, I saw a video about a father awake or something like that recently, about this man who actually found out that his son was stabbed by another person a week after. So he has no relationship with wow. his son. So the question is this, are there any organizations, or are you doing something Jeez. like this, whereby re-engaging fathers with their sons okay see that's the next step i'll give an example here mm. um last before we speak here i'll let abba continue on this because he was mm. here on this one um a situation one of my cousins got stabbed chest and neck died on the spot yeah mm. and his brother pff, his older brother is something else mm. you know and what we did we, um i was going there and Abba called me. I said, I told him I was going. He said, he's coming. So I didn't even need to beg or nothing like yeah. that. He said, I'm coming. Coming to pick you up. Came and picked me up. And we went down there and we prayed. We spoke to him. Yeah? Mm. In a basic common sense. But we knew this is a spiritual thing. Yes. Yeah? I had to put my feelings aside and now support him. Mm. Because I was painful. I was hurting too. Because that's yeah. my little cousin. He's 22. Yeah. You know? Um, but we prayed for him. Mm. And how was he? He was very calm, very collected. And this is someone that, you know, beforehand, you know, Clement, you know, he described him as someone that was active yeah. in what was going on now. So in regards to they were getting ready to uh, go. Yeah. So he wanted to revenge, but mm. afterwards, after the prayers, after you know, we spoke to him, mm. and and you know, his uh, cousin was there. Yeah, the lady. Yeah, the girl. Was there. Uh, we spoke to her as well. But she's also a single mom. Mm. Yeah. And we prayed for her that the next man that she sleeps with would be her husband, mm. Mm. because. If you value yourself, if you don't value yourself, how can someone value you? Mm. It's going to be hard. Yes, you'll get someone that will value you sometimes, yeah. regardless, but yeah. if it's from God, you know. But yeah. the, sometimes you kind of have to show that quality yourself also. Yeah. You know, yeah. don't rush into something that's not, yeah. it's not, yeah. not ready. Yeah. Do not yeah. wake in love before it's time. Yeah. Stop waking her up. <laughs> Stop yes. waking her up. Don't go and find friends unnecessary. Mm. Yes. Sons unnecessary. Solomon, man. Yeah, don't wake <laughs> love before it's time. You know, you, know, you wake up business, yeah. it's not your business. Yes. You wake up men, that's not your husband. You wake up woman, that's not your wife. You're waking up yeah. neighbors that you want to go and stay at their house and then they rape yeah. your kid, then you're like, how? Yeah. Because you didn't. You weren't discerning. You're not spiritually yeah. tuned in. You don't know the sort of people they're doing. The but, but, but it's the same thing about um, doors that open and doors that close. Mm -hmm. I always say to people, when a door closes, just let it close. Mm. And don't go kicking down doors. Mm. Exactly. When, but when the door, when the door is open, when this door is yours, you don't have to have a key. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it just it flows. It flows. Yeah. It flows. A yeah. husband walks into the house and opens his arm. This kid runs up to him, mm. and um, his, his, um, sorry, his wife runs onto him. Mm. 
it's children will run into him naturally because mm. it's yours, it's theirs. Yes, That's yes. their father. Yes. You know, and Jesus is saying, Hey, come. Yes. But you're saying, No, 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 I'll rather go next door. Yes, yes. Because their fix is quick fix. Yes, yeah. <laughs> well, well, ladies and gentlemen, we could go on forever, and this forever. is just the start of uh, a relationship with the brotherhood, <laughs> Wakanda, you know, <laughs> power to the people, you know. Um, but of course, this is something which is anchored very seriously in Jesus Christ, you know. We, I believe people have not to be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah, God no. is the power of God unto salvation. Yeah. Many people sometimes water it down and yeah. trying to blend in and try not to offend. Mm -hmm. But they say sometimes the truth can be an offense, yeah. right? And yeah. it's not that you want to offend, but the truth will mm -hmm. set you free, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. So listen, I want to thank you so much for joining um, on the late one. And uh, of course, next week I'll be tapping in as well to some other guys from different organizations. There were 25 organizations which I've tapped into where we're going to be doing some live interviews, looking at some of the issues um, regarding knife crime and for empowering um, young men. I want to add something yeah. quick. And uh, I'll let uh, Mr. Pastor um, Clem close it down here. Yeah? Maybe yeah. during bank holiday. Hmm? During bank holiday. Yes. We're looking um, to release one of the videos called um, Stronghold Within the Black Community. Yes, yes. Really, the slogan for it is called Black Virus, but I don't want to sound <laughs> like I'm being too rough here. But yeah. I'm saying there's a stronghold within the black community. Mm. Those strongholds are the knife crime. Because yes. Most people that are getting killed and stabbed, me and my wife identify eight of them we knew. Eight of the persons? Eight of the people who saw the newspaper we knew. Yeah. Black, mixed race kid. Yeah. Two mixed, one, one mixed race, the rest are black. Yeah. Full black. Yeah. You know? So we're doing that stronghold within the black community. Mm. Um, the sort of things that hold us black people yeah. back. That's what we're doing. Yeah. And, um, we got we got a YouTube on that that's coming out soon. Yeah, yeah. But we're gonna we're gonna we should we may do this live, you know. Okay. Just so people can tune in and maybe ask questions through that. Okay. Well, I'm here and we, we develop on the whole concept. Cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Of of course, because guess what? We have to empower each other as well. Yeah. Information is key. And um, ladies and gentlemen, remember to subscribe to the Silburn Show late one mm. on YouTube, Silburn TV, Instagram, Silburn TV, Facebook, Silburn TV, everything Silburn TV because I'm the only Silburn around in the world. <laughs> Anybody else is a fake. No we fake. <laughs> and we don't deal with clones, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> as much as possible. So thank you so much. Guys, listen, thank you again. Thank you. Thank it's you. Been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. And guess what? I met them today. <laughs> <laughs> believe it, Jonah. I, I met them I today, like but I, I believe in what I believe in very much. I believe in this: seize the moment, seize the day, take control, and don't go with the flow. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Uh,